Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExecuteAutomation.com. This is part seven of our framework design and development video series. So in this part, we are going to talk about data-driven testing in Selenium. If you could remember, while we were talking about different types of framework like data-driven frameworks, keyword-driven framework, and hybrid frameworks, we told that the data-driven framework is highly dependent upon data. So the data can be stored in any of the external data sources. It can be a database table, it can be an XML file, or it can be even an Excel sheets. So in our framework, which we are going to design, we are going to read data from Excel sheets. So in order to read data from Excel sheet, we are going to use a jar file called JXL. It is Java Excel. So in this part, we are going to talk more about reading data using JXL from an Excel sheet. So this video and the upcoming video is going to be very helpful to populate data from Excel sheet into our application's UI. Let's get started. Reading data from Excel sheets. So these are the following steps which are required to read a data from Excel sheet using JXL. Actually, I have written a complete article for reading uh, data from JXL. Here, I have written the complete article for reading data from JXL in Selenium. So as you can see here, if you can come down a little bit, I have given some examples and I have given the same screenshot that you are seeing in the, uh, the slide. The same is available even in the website. And also there are the code snippets to read the data from the Excel sheet. What we're trying to do is like, we, we will just first create a Excel sheet and then we'll try to open the Excel sheet. And then within Excel sheet, there will be workbooks. So we'll first open the workbook and within workbook, there will be worksheets. So the default worksheet will be sheet one or the index is always zero. So you can read that. And then you need to read the cell from where you need to retrieve the data. And after that, once the data has been completely readed, you need to close the Excel sheet. So this is the complete workflow of reading a data from an Excel sheet and closing the Excel sheet, right? And the same is written here in the code. So all we're trying to do is we are creating a instance for the workbook and using the get workbook method, we'll get the Excel sheet. And then we'll also get the sheet from the workbook. So this is the sheet name. And then within the sheet, we are also getting the cell values. So you can get the sheet either using sheet name or the index as I have told. And then using get cell, the column number and row number can be used to get the content out from the cell. And then you close the sheet once it's done. So in order for this to be done, I'm going to jump to the same code which we are working from part one through part six. So let's open the Eclipse. So this is the same project which we are working from part one through part six. And here, as you can see in my code, I'm just passing the value selenium into my method search Google as a hard coded value. So I'm going to replace this value such that I read a data from the Excel sheet and then I pass the value right here. So tomorrow if I'm going to change this value from Selenium to test complete or QDP or something else, then I can just change that value in Excel sheet rather changing in the code. So this will leverage a end user or a manual QA test engineer can directly change the Excel sheet rather changing in the code so that every time we don't have to rely on changing the hard coded value. So the first and foremost thing we need to do is to download the JXL jar file. So for that, I'm going to Chrome. I'm going to search for this JXL jar. So I have to search that. And this is the website which holds the JXL API. All right. And then I'm going to download this. So here's the JXL API. Okay, it's downloading. So this is the jar file which I require. So I'm going to paste it right here. Well, so this is the JXL jar file. I have downloaded it. So I'm going to add this as a reference to my project. Hit the properties. And here there's a Java build path, which is this JXL file. That's it guys. We have added the uh, JXL jar file right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, one more package uh, probably when I create a class, I can create the package and I'm going to name it as uh, Let's say let's give it as uh, Excel and then I'm going to name this as 
Excel library, right? Or let's give this some more intuitive name, DDT. All right, hit finish. So this will this will bring me up a package and a class name. So here I'm going to create a method. Probably let's write a constructor, public Excel lib. Oops. And I'm going to pass the path here. So this will initialize me the workbook. So I'm going to create a workbook. Let's say I'm going to assign this value as null. All right. So here in the workbook, I'm going to add workbook dot get workbook of the new file of the path in java.io right okay it's trying to add a try catch block so let's add a try catch block all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to read the data out from a sheet right so uh, let's say my default sheet is always going to be uh, zero as of now so I'm gonna create sheet and I'm going to return write one more method get value or get cell value so this is going to be my method and here I need to pass the uh, column number and row number all right <clears throat> and here I'm going to say like sheet workbook dot get sheet of let's say zero dot get cell of so get cell actually you will have different order methods uh, as you can see here it's cell uh, with arg zero and arg one so the zero is actually the column name so here it's a uh, column sorry column number so it's column number and uh, then it is a row number the dot if you put here it will bring you the get content method right this will return you the uh, string values all right so this is a very uh, plain and simple method so here what I'm trying to do is like uh, if uh, first I will initialize the uh, Excel sheet and then I will try to get a value out from the Excel sheet, right? So the next thing is I'm going to create a Excel sheet uh, with, uh, let's say, a column called search terms. And I'm going to say this as Selenium. And if you want to search some other term, execute automation. All right. And then I'm going to save this guy. All right. So now we'll go to the... Uh, Google search test and here the first and foremost thing is we need to first initialize the object for the Excel library so Excel lib let's say Excel is equal to new Excel lib the path f colon double slash data dot XLS alright so we have the path right now next thing is we need to read the data from the Excel sheet we have this instance of Excel dot uh, get cell value. I'm going to pass the column number here. So the column number is zero, and the row number is not zero. It's actually one. All right. So I think we have did all the stuffs which we need to. Now let's run this test and see how things work. All right. The page is loaded. That's great. Did you see that? It's just typing the Selenium for me. And also, it is bringing the data right from the Excel sheet instead of hard-coded value. So this is really cool. And that's what we're expecting. This is the actual essence of uh, the data-driven testing using Excel sheet. All right? So this is the code. And we have just passed the column number and the row number. If tomorrow, let's say, I want to change the search term and I want to use the execute automation so just I'm going to change this value to 2 and let's close this thing 
little bit and if I run this test right now it should pick the execute automation instead of selenium so right now you have a leverage of multiple data if tomorrow your manager says that hey can you just change the uh, value from selenium to execute automation or something like Microsoft then probably you can just go ahead and do that so as you can see right now it's just typing execute automation and that's the beauty of our data driven testing okay that's this error is expected because it tries to find the selenium page but doesn't because the page is execute automation and the link itself is not available so there will be an error that's it guys so this is the data driven testing using jxl so in the next video we will talk more about writing a generic library and get the data out from an jxl and the most important thing is the pain point here as you can see here the column value and the row value are actually the column number and row numbers here so tomorrow what if the excel sheets column index is changing let's say tomorrow i'm going to add some more columns here let's say tomorrow manager says like uh, hey uh, john can you just add a value called uh, test case id here and uh, move your search term somewhere else right of course this will work only if you change the value right into this particular index so you need to change the index value from 0 to 1 so every time you cannot keep on knowing what actually the index of the column and also here it's completely meaningless if you see this code unless until you see the excel sheet so you can straight away know that okay this 0 comma 2 is actually dealing with my 0th index of the column and second index of my row so this is really a pain point so we'll probably try to sort out this problem and write a more meaningful which should meet our expectation so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day